In today's video, I'm going to talk about five Gen AI and agentic AI projects, which will help you build necessary AI skills for today's era. And it will add a lot of weight to your resume because you will be building a solid project portfolio, which is not based on toy projects, but these projects are inspired from real life industry use cases. I have my own company called Atlic Technologies where we work on building AI solutions for our clients. And based on that industry experience, we have built this five projects. Now the first four projects are guided project on YouTube where we have given step-by-step -step explanation of how to build this project along with data set and code. And the last project is unguided project where we have given you data set problem statement and you will be building that project on your own. I'm going to include a PDF file with customization ideas for first four guided projects so that you will build the project and enhance it to give it your own unique flavor. It should not look like you have just copied the project from YouTube. All the resources and code will be given to you. Let's get started. The first project is Coder Buddy, which is an AI software engineer similar to Devin AI or Lovable, where you give a prompt and it will build a fully functional software application for you. In this project, you will be able to type a prompt such as create a calculator web application and it will generate the code along with nice front end. You can say something like create a to-do app and it will build that application for you. This is an agentic AI project which is built using Langgraph, Langchain, GPT open source model and Grok Cloud. The project is available on YouTube. I'm going to include a link of this in the document which I have attached in the video description. Once you have built this project using the YouTube video, you can add these two customization. The first one is building a front end like Lovable because if you look at this particular video, you are giving a prompt on the command line. You see, create a simple calculator web app and it is generating the code, everything for you. So it will show, see the code is generated and when you click on index.html, it will open the calculator app. But you can make it more like Lovable where you can build a UI either in Streamlit or in React and you just give this kind of prompt and it will generate this kind of application for you. The second customization idea is to add option to modify current functionality and UI. In our project, uh, once you give a prompt, the code is generated, but now you can add a functionality like Lovable once again, where you can say, okay, this new task button is on top left, move it on top right. See, move the new task button on top left. It used to be on top right and it will do that work for you. The second project is cold email generator. This project is for software services companies who target clients such as Nike, JP Morgan, etc. And the way sales team in these companies send cold email to these potential clients is, for example, they will go to Nike's website and they will find out the current job posting that they have. Let's say they have a job posting for React developer. It means they have need of this person. And these companies will give a pitch that instead of hiring a full-time person, why don't you take services from us? Okay, so that's a cold email that they'll be sending. In the email generator that we'll build, we'll have Streamlit UI where you can post a job post from Nike, let's say. And when you hit submit, it will generate a cold email using LLM and RAG. You see it generated this nice cold email using LLM and RAG. And here is the complete architecture. In this video, I have gone step by step, but just to give you an overview, uh, you will extract the role skills description from a job page. And by the way, we are using Llama open source model here. And then you index everything into ChromaDB, which is your vector database. And you have also uh, indexed your portfolio links. So you will do semantic search for your portfolio links using this job description. And then LLM, again Llama, will generate a nice email for you. In terms of text tech, we are using Llama, ChromaDB, Langchain, and Streamlit. Now here are two customization ideas. First, add dynamic customization options to Streamlit for users to select desired email tone and call to action. See right now in this particular UI, there is no option for email tone, etc. right? It's just a simple UI which lets you uh, enter a URL. But here you can add two additional button where you can specify your tone like friendly, whether you want to be salesy, whatever. And then you also specify call to action. Let's say here's my email contact me on this page or you know reach out to this phone number etc the second one will be we are indexing in chroma db just the portfolio links with 
only the tax tag. So this is what we are indexing. Now you can add another CSV file which will contain uh, industry wise client portfolio. So we have various industries, right? Retail, healthcare, finance, etc. And for each industry, you can have a separate portfolio. In Atlic, for example, we mainly target healthcare and retail. We have niche in these two industries. We have expertise. So you can have this kind of uh, industry specific portfolios which are indexed in your ChromaDB and the email that gets generated will contain those portfolios. Let me take a moment to thank today's sponsor Data Impulse. Any AI project is not complete without high quality data and getting high quality data from internet can be challenging. This is where a tool like Data Impulse can help. When your AI needs location aware high quality data, whether it's scrapping dynamic content from internet or verifying regional results, Data Impulse delivers. You get access to premium residential, mobile and data center proxies all with a 90 million plus IPs across 195 plus global locations. The best part, it is pay per go. We have listed on the screen the pricing for different proxies. Managing everything is effortless. You use their intuitive dashboard or API and enjoy their 24 by seven human live support. If you want smarter location aware AI, head over to Data Impulse, link in the video description. Now back to the video. The next project is LinkedIn Post Generator. This project is useful to influencers. For example, we have this influencer Muskan Handa who has 80,000 subscribers. Now, based on her past post, this project will retrieve the major themes. You know, she writes on mental health, career guidance, these kind of topics. So you can build this kind of streamlit UI where you can select a topic and it will generate a post which will look similar to your post. You know, you have specific way of writing posts. So it will mimic your tone, your writing style, etc. And it will generate these posts for you. In terms of technical architecture, I have mentioned here, you are having all these options from the drop down. So you take those options. Okay. And by the way, to generate these options, you are parsing your past post. Okay. And once that is done, it's like a two tier project. In the second one, you will generate a prompt using Llama open source model. In terms of technology stack, we have used Llama, ChromaDB, Langchain and Streamlit. Folks, remember Langchain, Langgraph, ChromaDB, Streamlit, these are very modern tools. Once you have these keywords on your resume, it will grab the attention of a recruiter. Customization ideas are in Streamlit UI, you can add option for post length and tone. Right now in the UI, you have option for topic length, language of course there is a length which is short etc but you can enter more quantitative things such as 200 words 300 words etc and you can also enter tone the second feature you can add is to generate multiple posts at once right right now it's generating just one i'm also an influencer who writes a regular post on linkedin and what i do is i use this application called publer where i have my content schedule for next month or so so you can generate all the posts in bulk and let the influencer schedule those posts in advance. The next project is very interesting. It's related to my Bloomberg experience where you are building an equity research analysis tool where on the left hand side, you have a bunch of URL. As an equity research analyst, what you'll be doing is, let's say you are doing analysis on Tesla stock. You will come to your job and every day you will be going through news articles related to Tesla just to know what's going on with the company. And here in this tool, you are posting all those articles here. And then on the right hand side, you can just ask a question. Okay, whatever is your question? What is the price of whatever your motor, etc and it will generate the answer for you. Now, in terms of architecture, you'll be using a rack pipeline retrieval augmented generation using Langchain, where you'll be indexing the news articles into phase vector database, okay? It's a vector database by Facebook, and you are doing chunking, you are doing retrieval, you are uh, using LLM, which is OpenAI. So you are using OpenAI GPT as your LLM model. All the code is provided here, folks. One of the clients that we had at Atlic we are building a POC for them and the POC looked very similar to this. So once again, a very real project. And here are the two customization ideas that we have. Instead of phase, you can use Chroma DB or Milvus, etc. And you can also add offline processing mode. The last project is unguided project, which is a code basics resume project challenge. We conduct this project challenges on our website every month. 
This is free. Anybody can participate. We give a real life industry problem statement along with the data set and, you know, anything else that will help you build this project. So you can go through this page and you can start working on this. Now you'll be able to see the submissions from the winner. So this, this challenge is by the way over and you'll be able to see the submissions from other winners. And this will help you not only build the, uh, the required AI skills, but increase your online credibility. Okay, so we have given a starter GitHub repo. We have also given you a copy of a sample LinkedIn post that you'll be doing after you are done uh, working on this project. In this project, you are building a rag based chatbot, but it is having a feature of role based access. If you look at most of the industry projects, uh, when you have a chatbot based on your role, you'll be able to see only certain information. Let's say if you are from HR, you'll be able to see salary for, of people. But if you're not from HR, you won't be able to see it. So it will have this kind of role based uh, access control. Okay, also known as RBAC. So go through it and work on this project. That's it folks, I wish you all the best. If you have any suggestion for what kind of project we should build next for our channel, please post in the comment box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.